think the key thing that we need to think about is how we use those 72 MPs that we have and how we demonstrate to those in places where we did uh, come second. And yes, as you've said, that's in the majority to Conservative uh, uh, MPs, how we then build that coalition. But I'm obviously sitting here as a Scottish MP. It wasn't the Conservatives that I defeated. It was the SNP. And what we have in Scotland is a similar issue to what we had before the general election of a government that's been in power for far too long and there's an opportunity for change. So how do you answer that question about how you use the 72? But the fact that we've secured select committee chairs such as health, social care and DEFRA, which obviously includes the environment and sewage, shows that we are going to be able to campaign on those core issues. But the fact that we're going to have more representation, I have to say, I think the Conservatives have got off to a very slow start in Parliament in terms of the number of questions that they're asking, the way they're participating in debates. That's I going think to change when they have a new leader. Well, it might change to an extent, but uh, it sounds like their leadership contest is still going to be as pretty divisive as all the previous recent uh, leadership contests that they have. And obviously they're hugely deflated and demoralised, whereas we have a really collegiate, uh, focused team that is really, as Wes Streeting described us, already pen friends.